Um, welcome to Crafts with Grace. Special 4th of July edition. Um, we are so happy that you are joining us today and we are so sad we can't be with everyone to watch the fireworks and the usual 4th of July traditions that we do. Um, so we hope that you know our virtual kickoff for the 4th of July festival um, brought to you by the Center for the Arts. Uh, kind of helps with that a little bit to still celebrate, right, Grace? Yeah. Yeah. Do you have anything else you'd like to say? Mm -hmm. Sure. I hope you're in 4th of July clothes. Yeah, we hope you're festive and in 4th of July clothes. <laughs> and I'm in a star outfit. You want to see the whole part? But... Wow. We love your star outfit. Right, guys? Yeah. Oh. All right, Grace, do you want to go over the materials for our Lady Liberty crown? Yes. Hey. So All right. The kick it off. you need to is one star printed because you need two for the other one. Yeah. So we only need to print one template for this craft. Um, you'll also need another one Ow. for the Uncle Sam I mask. My face. Oh goodness, you're so silly. Um, what else do we need for Lady Liberty crown? Um, you're gonna be needing tape. Yes, you will need tape. What else? And glue. And glue. Yes. <laughs> we need a paper plate. A paper plate. Good job. Ooh, my napkin. <laughs> I'm just Pause. going to get a napkin. Because <laughs> <laughs> it drops. Yeah, it fell And you're going to need some scissors. You are going to need some scissors. What else? A paper, paper towel, towel to dry paper. off your paintbrush. What else? And you're going to need some paintbrushes. Yes, and? Some ribbon or twine. And some of these. A hole puncher. And don't forget the blue, blue. paint. So the first step of um, your Lady Liberty craft is to. I need me. These Lady Liberty, because those are the Uncle Sam ones. Yes. So we're going to need to cut the paper plate um, kind of in half, but you want to make sure you do like an arc across to give it that like crown dimension. Okay, perfect. So the next step after um, you have cut your paper plate We is should make two of them for two. Rory and me. Oh, that would be very, very nice. Um, and out too. Oh, for our neighborhood friends. Oh, you're so sweet, Grace. Um, next, we're going to paint the Lady Liberty crown with blue. Yay, yeah, shall I paint it? Yes, you shall paint it. Okay, let me put some glue on the paper. Okay. set this aside to let it dry but we can do other things while it's drying. Yeah like Uncle Sam. <laughs> no we won't skip just yet to Uncle Sam but we can um, grab our red and white construction paper to create the Lady Liberty spikes. What do you say? Yes. Yes. All right after you have painted your crown completely blue we're gonna set it aside um, and let it dry and we could do a couple things that uh, while we're waiting for that to dry, such as creating the Lady Liberty spikes and cutting out the stars. Um, Grace, do you want to cut out the stars? Yes. Okay, great. Thank you. Um, and then I will cut the spikes. So a good way to do this is to... Wait, I want to cut the spikes. Oh, the spikes are a little more tricky because there's no template. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so the best way to do this is to trim off a couple inches of, from the construction paper, the red and white. And I like to do them at the same time. Just to save some time. And don't worry, you can use these scraps for Uncle Sam in a little bit. Um, and then what I like to do first is to cut the first triangle, which is the middle. So I'll cut a slender spike. So there's your first spike and then from there you can um, use this as like a template to cut your next one. 
All right, after you cut out the spikes and all your stars, uh, you are going to glue the spikes. Yeah, we're gonna glue the spikes. So the best way to do it is to check if your little headband's dry. If it's pretty much dry, ours is a little still wet, but it's we can definitely still glue the spikes and stars on it. So we're gonna turn it upside down on our construction paper that protects our table. <laughs> and then we are going to lay out all the spikes and then we're gonna have Grace glue them. So I know it. Yes. See her. <laughs> yeah. Next step is to glue the star. Ta da! <laughs> now, do you want to flip it so they can see it? Pick it up. <laughs> Done. The next step is to take the hole puncher. Hole puncher. And we are gonna punch holes on the very corners. So we're gonna go. Do, do, do. Next, after you have your holes punched, string at the string so you can wear. We on your head. are going to put some string on. We're going to spread it through. We just have, still happen to have some patriotic ribbon laying around red, red, white, and blue. So we're going to thread it through. And then after you're done threading it through, you're just going to knot the end. What do you think so far, Grace? Are you excited to wear your Lady Liberty crown? strings attached and you can tie on the crown. So, ready Miss Grace? Mm -hmm. Here we go. Let's see. Look up. Thanks for joining us everyone. Mm -hmm. um, check out Grace's Lady Liberty crown. Now she's ready to go be festive out there. Hi everyone, welcome back for part two, where we are going to make, be making Uncle Sam masks. Yeah. Yeah. So do you want to go over um, the supplies everybody needs for this part? Okay, cut and show them. This was in the dark. Oh yeah, your best friend gave that to you, huh? Yeah, Rory yeah. made it to Rory made it to give that to you. Um, okay, so you want to go over the material? Yeah. What do you need for this crust? We need for this crust. Wait, I got some stuff. Template. The same so now, template that we just cut the printer if you have the printer. Or you can cut your own stars. And we have a paper plate. <laughs> oh, for the mask part. <laughs> That's silly. Okay, what else? Instruction paper. <laughs> If you did the Lady Liberty um, <laughs> crown, you can use some of the scraps from that for this. But if you didn't, you will need red and white construction paper, um, and you will also just need the solid red and white for. And you're gonna need so, some cotton balls. Some cotton balls, correct. Um, <laughs> you're also going to need scissors and glue. 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 Good job. 
All right, what's our first step? Our first step is to grab the paper plate and we're gonna cut a hole. So you're just gonna follow the circle pattern if you need help, mom and dad can do it for you. Do you wanna cut the circle pattern? Yes. I think you can do it. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna help Grace first by giving her a little guidance. take that part that you originally you cut from the construction put paper. This on? How are you going to stick this on? And you're going to keep it just the same way. How so, going to stick this on? We're going to use oil, you silly dish. So it's going to look like this. Um, and then we're also going to just need a strip of glue to run across the, the hat. So you want to just use the hat with for your guidance. So you're going to do this. Gonna line them up <laughs> so you know where to cut. And I would say go about like a an inch, ten inch and a half, and just cut that. <laughs> and great, so everything is just so silly today. That's not pretty old, silly. Okay, now let's see our hat. Can we see our hat? Oh goodness gracious! So what we're gonna do first? Okay, let me show you what it's gonna look like once it's all put together. Like this. <laughs> All right, so are we ready to glue? Yeah! Okay. Of course. Here we go. Let's do it. All right, so you're going to start with your square, the big top hat part, and you're going to glue it to the brim of the, the paper plate. from the other one just to take it down until the glue dries. That way the edges don't come up while the glue is dry. And you can move on to the next step and not have to wait. So this is what your first step looks like. <laughs> now for the second step of that, of the hat, is we're going to add this brown. Okay. Can so, I glue it yeah, on? of course. Let's put the glue from the tape to the tape so we get the done. Got it? Now you have a 
do next is the blue decorative piece for the hat that's just gonna overlay the red and white. The red and white. Yeah, I can put it on, sure. After that is to cut three white stripes. Um, and I'm gonna use the scrap from the Lady Liberty. And it could be about like an inch to an inch and a half wide, however wide you want to make them. Let's cut them open. Then to the size of the hat. Again, that silly grease. And then from there, you can kind of even it out if you see that your bow tie, bow tie is a little disproportionate. All right, Gracie, guess what? I mean, Uncle Sam's bow tie. <laughs> so we're gonna glue the bow tie to the bottom of the paper bag. Next step is to glue the cotton balls. We are gonna do two on the top to give Uncle Sam his little beard and one on the bow tie. And here's our final Uncle Sam mask. <laughs> so do we wanna say our goodbyes? Yeah. Yeah. But we have to do the week. Well, we hope you tune in to all the other programs that the center has to offer Stop, today. <laughs> There's um, going to be an event every hour from Broadway singers to the next one is story time and activity time with Grace about the 4th of July. Um, and also to the grand finale, our traditional Marine band, who we, we usually have live at the center, but of course, because of um, COVID-19, we have to cancel for the safety of our patrons and of our community and of course our staff and volunteers um so we appreciate you tuning in to our virtual programming and we hope to see you next year thanks so much thanks for joining us bye